Hey guys, my name is Shubhran Shrivastava and today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create and publish your own Figma plugin entirely using AI tools within a few minutes to a few hours depending upon the complexity of the plugin. So uh, in this video, I will be creating a very small Figma plugin to showcase you guys how to go on about building your own Figma plugin, how to navigate the development errors and how to set up a Figma plugin environment which won't take you more than a few minutes. And uh, towards the end of this video, I will also be showing you how you can publish your own AI generated Figma plugin onto the Figma community. As you can see, I have created this plugin entirely using AI. I will leave the link in the description for you guys to check it out. And yeah, so for this video, I'm going to be using uh, Bolt to create a Figma plugin. But obviously, there are a lot of other tools which I recommend. And uh, one of them is Claude, obviously, because their model works really great for building things. So you can use either of them as you like. And uh, just to get just to get you guys started, I have created a boilerplate AI prompt which will set up the context for any AI tool and then you can use it to build your own Figma plugin on top of it. So the link is in the description. You can check it out and let's start building our first AI generated Figma plugin. Okay, so the first thing that I would want you to do is go ahead and copy the prompt from the Google Doc that is given in the video description and paste the prompt in any AI tool that you would like. And towards the end of the prompt, you can see that I have created this space where you can write the requirement for your plugin. So I'm going to create a plugin that applies a border radius of 4 pixels, 8 pixels and 12 pixels based on what I select for a single layer or, or for multiple layers. And once I do that and hit enter, you can see that it is going to start creating some code base there for our Figma plugin. And it's going to take some time for the first time and it's showing you I'll help you create a Figma plugin that applies different border radius values to selected layers and that is fine. Uh, for this uh, prompt, it is going to generate all the requirement uh, for these files. So you can see we have UI.HTML file, we have manifest.json files. All these files are very important for creating your own Figma plugin. And uh, yeah, let's wait for a few seconds for it to generate all the required files for our Figma plugin. Right, so once we do that, what we are going to do is test the plugin within the code editor itself. In Bolt, we have this terminal. So if you're using any other uh, AI tool which doesn't have the terminal, you can skip ahead to a few seconds in this video where I will sh uh, show you how to set up this code. But by heart, you need to learn only two commands, which is npm install and npm run build. So you need to type npm install within the terminal and then npm run build. Once we uh, enter the command of npm run build, you can see that we have some errors right here. So Bolt is prompting me to attempt the fix. So I'm going to click right here and it's, it is going to try to attempt and fix those errors, whatever errors we are getting in the terminal. And if you are not using Bolt, if you are using any other AI tool, you can simply uh, copy those terminal code errors that we are getting and simply paste those errors within the chat window and your AI tool will, AI tool will start to fix it itself. So I've entered this again, but it's still not fixed. So what I'm going to do is copy the npm run build uh, command again, and I'm going to paste this within the chat window, as I told you, and it's going to try to fix itself again. Let's see what it does. It says I will fix the TypeScript errors and it's going to update the code files again. And once that is done, I'm going to type npm run build again, and it's saying we have some error. So that is fine. You need to make sure uh, that when you are using these AI tools, there are there is going to be a lot of back and forth between you and the AI tool itself, because you are prompting the AI tool to fix those errors, and it's going to try and reiterating the plugin and the code to get you where you want, right? So we have tried to fix it again. We are going to write npm run build in this command again, and it's showing we have a little few errors. But uh, let's see what we are going to do. So what I'm going to do is copy the uh, uh, npm run build code error again and paste it within the bolt window. And hopefully it should work this time. It says, let me fix the TypeScript errors in the main text sx file. That is fine. Uh, we have a new updated code base. I'm going to write npm run build again to see if we have a fixed error. It's saying potential problem detected. But as you can see in the terminal window, there is no error and we can simply ignore this error within the bold uh, AI2. So now since we don't have any error in the, th in the terminal window, we can start creating the plugin environment in Figma. So you can go ahead and open Figma. You can go to the assets panel and then go to plugins and widgets. Let's go to development from this drop down menu and click on new plugin. You can simply give your plugin any name that you would want. So I'm going to write border radius uh, select. You can choose any name uh, as you want. And I'm going to select a default blank slate for my plugin itself. And it's going to prompt you to create a new folder for your plugin uh, directory. 
once that is done we need to have a code editor like visual studio code or cursor ai that we can use to open our zip file that we had just downloaded from the ai tool so i'm going to use cursor ai for this particular problem and uh, let's uh, go ahead and open cursor ai and uh, yeah right here what i'm going to do is uh, create a new window so that i can close the previous window right here and i'm going to click on view uh, open project button right here and i'm going to open the project that we had just created within our figma environment so once that is done you can see that we have these two files code.js file and manifest.json file but since we downloaded a new zip file with all the code repository what we are going to do is extract the zip file and go inside the folder copy all the files inside it and then go back to the folder that we had created using figma and what we are going to do is select all the files inside the figma folder and we are going to remove them and we are going to paste the files that we had just downloaded from the ai tool itself once we do that and what i'm going to do is select any file and open the terminal right uh, terminal window right inside the uh, code editor and i'm going to uh, repeat the steps that we were doing previously within the bold window so i'm going to write npm install and then npm run build again so if you don't have bold or if you are not using bold you can perform those steps right inside this uh, code editor and if you get these errors right here you can simply copy those errors go back to your uh, own respective ai tool and paste those errors and you have to do a lot of back and forth that is why i really like using bold so once that is done we can go to uh, figma and then we can select let's see which one was the plugin this was border radius select so we can see that we have something of sorts for the plugin that we wanted to create and it's working as it should so let's go ahead and uh, see if we create multiple rectangles right and uh, what i'm gonna do is uh, select all these right here i'm gonna also create a frame and i'm gonna select all these right here and see if we can change yeah it's working perfectly as it should but there is some problem i feel because it's working for the rectangle shapes and but it's not working for the frame layers so what i'm gonna do is go back to the ai tool that i was using and i'm gonna uh, write the exact problem that i'm facing uh, with as much as context as possible so i'm gonna write so uh, this is working perfectly but uh, it's only working for uh, shapes which is the rectangle layer as we could see earlier but uh, i want this to work for frames as well so i'm gonna hit enter and once again the ai tool is gonna start reiterating uh, reiterating itself and update the code uh, for the problems that we had just shared once that is done i'm gonna write npm run build here itself only so that we don't get this problem within the code editor to see if we are getting some errors or not and let's see if we have some errors we have absolutely no errors in the npm run build command so i'm going to download the zip file again and what i'm going to do is open the folder again you can see we are going to copy the new downloaded zip file and we are going to open the figma plugin folder and we are going to delete everything inside it once again as you can see uh, behind in the cursor ai that once we paste the new files the new files get updated but since we have pasted the new files we are going to be uh, entering the commands again so we gotta write npm install and then we gotta write npm run build so that we develop this plugin environment for figma you can also use cursor ai to do uh, this plugin building uh, other than bold and plot but that's probably for another video what i'm gonna do is once that is done i'm simply gonna open figma again and see and test it out if it's still working uh in my figma uh environment so i'm gonna open the plugin again it's this one and i'm gonna select the frame and it is still not working it shows that uh the border radius is applied to one layer but uh, there is no border radius being applied to that particular layer so what i'm gonna do is go back to my ai window again and i'm gonna say that uh it says that it has applied the border radius right uh that i selected but it's not working uh, uh as it should right so i'm gonna write that uh, again and i'm gonna hit simply enter uh i'm also gonna write uh consider all edge cases and fix it uh accordingly so that it considers all the edge cases that we have while building these figma plugins and hopefully we can have it work now okay so the ai tool has given me another code uh, zip file so i'm gonna write npm run build again to test this out within the terminal window and let's see if we get any errors in the terminal we have no errors so what i'm gonna do is download the zip file again we have a new zip file so i'm gonna open the folder of that zip file copy the contents and go back to the figma plugin folder remove the all existing files and paste the new files 
once that is done i'm going to go to back to my code editor and write npm install to uh, install the required dependencies and once that is done i'm going to write npm run build to see if we have any errors right here yeah we don't have any errors so what i'm going to do is go back to figma and i'm going to select this frame right here go to assets and then plugin and then open the plugin that we are creating right here in this figma project and let's test this out if it's still working I, I think it's still not working or maybe my figma is lagging a little bit too much uh, but i'm gonna open this again test this out on shapes it's working fine and i'm gonna test this out on frames and it certainly works yeah so it's probably some error uh, from the figma's end but uh, the plugin as you can see is working exactly like it should on the frame uh, layers as well and that is how you build the mvp version of your figma plugin there are a lot of things that you can do uh, since this was working initially for shapes, I prompted the AI tool to work for uh, frame layers as well. And in this way, you can create your own Figma plugin. As you can see right here, I have created this Figma plugin, which converts all the uh, decimal points into integers. And you can see the UI of this Figma plugin. It is pretty, uh, is pretty different from what we had just created. And that is only with the help of a lot of back and forth between me and the AI tool. You can create your own designs for your own Figma plugins and then you can feed those screenshots or maybe Figma files if your AI tool support to the AI tool and it's gonna you know try to replicate the UI design as well. If it's still not uh, replicating your UI designs as it should, you can simply uh, give the properties like what fill you want, what properties do you want for your uh, buttons or cards or anything like that. And yeah, that's how you create your own Figma plugin. You can also use Cursor AI to bind your old uh, Figma plugin right here inside the code editor. But this video was all about AI tools like Claude and Bold. And uh, since this video is already a bit too long on how to create your own Figma plugin, I'm going to upload the next part of how to publish your own Figma plugin and I'm going to link the video down in the description below. So you can check that out and learn how to publish your own Figma uh, plugin into your Figma community. So that was it for this video guys. I hope you liked it. Please like, comment and share it with your friends. Have fun and see you in the next video.